if you want to build a Python scissor cipher application to encrypt and decrypt messages with also the graphic user interface, well, you are in the right place because in this video, which is also part one, we're going to create and style the GUI of the application using TKinter. So, first of all, as usual, I'm going to import TKinter as TK and then I'm going to also import sys because I'm going to need that and then I'm going to create this program using a class structure so if you actually want to know more about classes etc I have a complete series on classes so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to learn more about that so first of all I'm going to create a class called sys cipher and then I'm going to inherit from tk frame then I'm going to define my init method so self and also root my root window and then i'm going to assign the colors that i'm going to use to variables so that i can actually use those variables when i need a specific color and if in the future i want to change the color of a certain elements i just need to change the value here and all the elements using this color this variable will get the new color basically so self i'm going to use instance variables so 072b63 then self color 2 i'm gonna use bfe 2ff and then color 3 just gonna use 89b9e1 like that perfect here i have just three colors but you could have as many as you want and name them in different ways like background color foreground bottom background etc the more variables you have with the colors and the more customizable the app will be because you can just change color of just the button or the text etc etc without changing everything then i want two variables so self letters like that and i'm just going to copy the alphabet like this perfect and then self num letters the length of self letters like that then i'm going to call super init because i want to call the init function of the tk frame and i'm going to pass the root and then the background color self dot color one basically now the self is a frame so if you used something like self dot pack this is the the frame basically the the main frame in the window so we can actually assign this self here to an instance variable this is not necessary but instead of doing something as i've just done like self.pack self.column configure etc etc i'd rather use something like self.mainframe.pack self.mainframe etc etc this is definitely more readable and you can see straight away that you're talking about the frame and not something else so i actually like to do something like self.mainframe is equal to self as I said, this is not necessary. It's just a matter of preference because now I can do something like mainframe.pack instead of doing something like self.pack, which could actually be misleading. So fill tk both and then expand true like that. And then self.mainframe.column configure like that. I'm gonna do zero weight one. And then we can actually go down here outside the class and do something like operating system sys platform. Then I'm going to create the root window. So tk, tk, and then is a cipher app. I'm going to assign a new instance of our sys cipher application. I'm going to pass the root here like that. And then I'm going to give this window a title she's a cipher like that and here i'm doing something like if win in operating system so if you're running on windows then i want this geometry here so i want 800 by 450 which is width and height then elif linux in operating system root geometry and i want 470 and then 
I haven't actually tried on Mac, so I'm not sure about the dimensions, etc. If you're using a Mac, you need to check this yourself. So I'm just going to stick with Darwin in operating system. I'm just going to do the same geometry as Linux. But I'm not sure about that, as I said, like this. And I'm actually doing this because I've noticed that you've got sort of different maybe paddings, etc. So things are not centered properly, etc. So I've actually tested it and I decided to use two different values here. But this is just to center things. It's not that important, but this is just to make things nicer. So by doing this, you can actually change things according to the system your program is running on, which is kind of cool in my opinion. And then root resizable. Let's go down here. And I'm going to make this with false and height false. And also I'm going to call the main loop. And let's actually try to run this and see what we actually get. So Python, this is a cipher, GUI. As you can see, we get this. Perfect. This is a window with the background, etc. etc. Now up here, we're still in the init. We're gonna call self.render widgets, which is something that we are going to define in a second. So here outside the init function. And we're going to call this render widgets self. As you can see now, you've got this here. And now we can start writing our widgets. So first of all, I'm going to add a title. And this is going to be a label like that. Self.mainframe as the parent background color. I'm going to just use self color background color one. Foreground color, I'm just going to use self dot color two and then the font i'm just going to use arial like that 22 pixels bold but use the font you want and then the text is going to be she's a cipher like that and then of course i'm going to place it on the screen by using self title grid and this is going to be in the first column then row, zero, then sticky, it's going to be TK, W like that, then part Y, it's going to be 35. Perfect. So we've actually added the title. Let's see what we get. As you can see, this is what we get so far. Then we're going to create the text widget. Let's actually make some space there. Perfect. So now you've got the title, as I said. So self text widget TK text and then we're going to steal the main frame as the parent and then background color set the color two in this case then foreground color the color one then select background set the color one and select foreground set color two like this perfect font same thing as above, but 17 pixels and not bold. Then the height is going to be five. Really, really nice. Part X, zero. Part Y, 10. I said zero, but I was meaning 10. And highlight thickness, zero. Border, zero. And in this case, we're going to use self.text widget grid. Perfect. And we're going to do something like column zero, row one, but X 100. Really, really nice. And let's see what we get. As you can see, this is, you can see when you select, you get this thing here, which is the select background, select foreground, which is kind of cool. Really, really nice. Then we need to add the key label. And you're going to see what I mean in a second. So key. Because of course, in the CSS cipher, you want a key. So self main frame, and then background, self color one, foreground, self color two, font 13. Then the text of the label, 
and I'm going to use an F string because you can use F strings here. So one and then num letters minus one. Perfect. And then justify tk center. Perfect. And now, as we've done above, self dot key label grid. So column zero. Then the third row, because this is zero indexed, so two means zero, one, two. Then pod y to be 38 and 10, like that. And let's see what we get. So as you can see, this is what we are getting. So key 125, if you add letters, you get 126, 130, 150, etc, etc. And now we need to add a little container down below where we're going to have the buttons, etc, etc. So here we can do something like self dot buttons container which will contain everything so self dot main frame so another frame inside the, the main frame self color one then we are going to configure the columns so configure zero like this so one two like that so basically you have three columns they stretch and they cover each one third of the total width of the container basically then self dot buttons container and then also we want to place this in the frame so column we're going to do something like zero row three which is the fourth row sticky i want this to actually stretch all directions so north south east west but x is going to be 100 like this you don't get anything because this is down here basically this is here and now we need to place things inside this container by the way i would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss future videos like this one so the first thing we're gonna actually add is the button encrypt to encrypt things so self dot button encrypt tk button like this so self dot buttons container like this as the parent then i'm going to use the background color i'm going to use self dot color two foreground self dot color one then the active background is going to be self color three and then the active foreground is going to be self dot color one then the font so font real 15 pixels then the text is going to be encrypt like that then the width six height one then i want the cursor to be hand one when you hover over that then the highlight thickness i want it to be zero and also the border zero then the state i want it to start out disabled like this perfect and then of course we need to place it on the screen so self dot button encrypt grid and i'm going to do the like column zero row zero ipod x five ipod y five like that and i'm actually using those to make uh, the buttons taller because if i were to actually use two they would be too tall etc etc so i'm just using the padding to make them taller and also we can actually copy this and do this here so self button crypt and here crypt we can change the column column two and also down here button decrypt like that let's actually try to run it so as you can see one and two and now we need the entry here in the middle so we can do something like this so here we can do something like self dot key entry equal to entry self button container of course then the background is going to be self dot color two 
and also the foreground is going to be self dot color one then the select background i want it to be color one and the foreground the color two color two then the font is always going to be the same so like this and also 15 pixels the width same six highlight thickness zero as well i don't want anything around it the border zero as well and also justify i want the actual text to be in the center so justify center and then we can place it in the middle so we can do something like self key entry grid and we're going to do something like column one row zero and also i part y nine because basically here you cannot add height as you can see you don't have it so to make the entry taller you need to use the internal padding so let's save it and see what we actually get as you can see we get this thing here which is really really nice so a b c d as you can see the the select foreground and background which is really really nice here the same thing but as you can see the encrypt and decrypt buttons are not active and also here you can add whatever you want a huge number letters whatever okay in part two we're actually going to create the commands and the validation to make this whole program work so stay tuned because it's going to be published really really soon and if it has already been published you should see it on the screen and i'm also going to leave the link in the description box down below so go and check that out and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support my work and i'll see you soon bye